How's it going there guys? This is your one and only Python Versus here. And today guys, we're gonna be taking a look at the MPXK. Now, it's been a minute, it's been a hot minute that I've been trying to get my hands on one of these and finally I was able to obtain one. And this guy right here, man, is very special. It's very special, right? I've been trying to get this one in my collection for a while now, ever since I had the MP5. Um, because the MP5 has been pretty much one of the best PCCs that I've owned. One of the softest PCCs also as well that I own. Now, I still need more time um, with this one, for example. Um, I took it out for the range today, enjoyed it. Enjoyed it, loved it. Had about, what was it? Almost 200 to 300 rounds through it. Let some of my buds shoot it and they freaking loved it. Um, some didn't because uh, small, if you got small hands, like if you got really small hands, um, this is perfect for you. If you got medium sized hands, this is perfect for you. If you got large hands, you may have a little bit of trouble um, depending on how big your hands is because some people, for example, you know, their hands may be too big for um, a hand grip <laughs> and you know, you don't got much over here to grab on. Now, yeah, you can grab onto the magwell itself um, or the mag and you, you know, you could pop off your shots, but it, you know, it all depends. Um, it, it just all depends. I, had a, I have a friend at the ranch who he has a little bit of a big hands. So it, it wasn't his cup of tea when it came to the MPXK. Um, overall though, soft shooting. Like this thing right here shoots super soft, man. I thought my, I thought the MP5, you know, in terms shot softer, but nah, man, this, it, it, I feel like this is almost identical to the MP5, like, or if not better, but it's like almost the same. Two of the softest shootings that I ever, uh, PCCs that I've ever shot, and it, it is amazing, I love it. The way I have my MPXK set up is, so you guys can see, I have the collapsible uh, SIG stock, which is perfect. Um, so the red dot that I got on is pretty much the Romeo 3 Max, I think it's called. Super amazing red dot, I love it so far. Um, gotta go back out there and get her sighted in. They had some issues today where <laughs> it was pretty much loose, but put some blue Loctite on there and she should be she should be ready to go. So there shouldn't be any issues off from there. Um, I got the Magpul, you know, iron sights, just in case you might not know my red dot may die someday. And, you know, just pop these bad boys off. You're good to go from there. Um, another thing that I have is the Protec. Uh, by Streamlight, the Protac light. Have her set up right there. Because you may not know, you know, situations where it can be dark. This is a bad boy where, you, you know, you kind of want to light, you know. Um, so go through, turn that bad boy on, and you're all set. You know, you got this light set up in there, and you're good to go. Um, now, this is, this is interesting because it is small. It is very small. Now, compared to the small package that I have with my, uh, pretty much, you know, my Chris Vector here, you know, you put these side to side and it is, it's still a small package, but I feel like the MCX is much smaller and it's much, let me see, maybe much thinner, probably. I don't know, like I said, you know, the Chris Vector is my truck gun. So I take this bad boy out with me whenever, you know, I'm going out, um, gotta go for a long drive and things like that. So, so I don't know, I mean, that's a 10 mil. This is a nine mil, so you may not know, you know? Can you use this for a home defense? Hell yeah, you can, man. Put some defense rounds in here, and uh, you pretty much be good to go. This could be perfect, you know, for corners and things like that in your own home, so if you need a home defense gun and you could afford an MPX, 
by all means, man, get it kick, get a kit out. And it's just how fast you can deploy this. Let's say, for example, you got this on your bed and stuff like that. You can just simply, and then you're ready for action, man. You're all set, you know? So this is, this is amazing, you know? I love it. The trigger on this one, it is perfect. Now, I don't know what gen model this one could be. This one has the pretty much the Geisley trigger, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I think the newer ones, the brand new MPX has now come with the Geisley trigger. Um, nice little flat trigger this is there. And she's not bad at all. I want to say it's about... Oh man, it's, it's featherweight. <laughs> that, that's all I'm going to say. It is just, it is featherweight. That thing is... It's not bad at all. Um, but other than that, yeah, I love the trigger. I love the trigger how it is there. I don't know how it was in the last gens of these. So if you guys, if any of you guys have the old gen models, just let me know, comment down below and let me know what you think of it. Um, but yeah, it, 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 one thing that I, I have to complain about is the, like I said, it's just the small, you know, in terms of like, like the M-lock rails that, it, that you have around here and stuff like that, that it, it's, it's just small. And another gripe that I have is, because in the future I will be suppressing this, and one little gripe that I have is that I'm gonna have to take the whole handguard off uh, completely. So I have to take this off just to be able to reach the muscle device, just so I can, you know, let me see if I'll, just so I can be able to take this bad boy off and then put like, you know, my ASR mount and then be able to put my suppressor on there. So it all depends, you know, it, 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 that's one gripe that I have with this. So we'll see how that goes. Another thing is I love the design, the way this looks and feels. Um, it just feels modern, you know? I, I, like I said, I, I went with the all, you know, with the all SIG, everything SIG in terms of, you know, with the red dot, you know, with the red dot and stuff. Um, collapsible SIG stock. I, I pretty much try to go everything SIG. I probably will be going with the SIG iron sights. They do have SIG iron sights version of this. So I probably will be going with that in, in the near future. But yeah, man, it's like this so far as like my first impression, it feels great. It is fantastic. I had one hiccup in terms of ammo. Um, when it came to ammo, I had these blazer rounds that I was using at the time. Now, thank God, because I then switched out, I had some Winchester uh, 9 mil rounds afterwards, but I had some blazer, I think 115 grain blazer rounds, and it was having issues um, with one round. It was like a failure to extract. Um, other than that, though, it, it was like smooth afterwards, no issue whatsoever. Um, I did use the rest of the blazer rounds that I had, and it ran it fine afterwards. But Besides that, that was the only issue that it had. And this is only, like I said, this is today when I took it out. All the videos that you're probably seeing um, on this video now, they're all from today. So it wasn't anything crazy or, or you know, like I said, I, most I put on, on this so far, it's like about, you know, 300, 300 rounds. So I'm probably gonna be taking that back out tomorrow with the MP5 um, to just to keep playing around with the binary on the MP5 and then play with this bad boy and see how it is. So. Yeah, in, in terms of all these stuff, man, this gun is amazing, and I love it. I, I, I'm glad I get to add it to the collection. If you want to see a comparison in terms of, you know, the MPX and the MP5, uh, make sure you guys like this video. I'll, I'll give you guys that video. I'll go ahead and, uh, you know, compare them to see which one I actually like better. Like I said, there, it's really hard to beat because with the MP5, I can't really, how do I say, the MP5 has its faults. Just know that, but that's for another video. The MP5 does have its faults. The MPX is more modern, so it implements from the failures that the MP5 has, um, and it fixes it. So, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of things we'll discuss about that. But you know, give this video a like if you guys want to see that. I'll, I'll definitely bring it out for you guys. But that's pretty much it in terms of my first impression on my MPX, man. I love this thing. So if you guys have any, you know, anything that you you know, recommend if you guys, for the guys that have some MPXs, you know, what would you add, things like that. Um, let me know down below. Comment down in the videos and let me know. Um, stay tuned for the next video because I got a big surprise on the handgun that I got. Just to give you guys an idea of what is it that I got and the stuff that I did to it, pretty much, because I did a lot of things to it. Uh, so stay tuned for that video. And that's pretty much it, guys. Anyways, guys, stay safe out there and stay dangerous. Take care of yourself. I, I, I could
feel the blood creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gon' feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I got eyes in the back of my head, I'm seeing Take me for granted and you know I'm leaving I'ma take what's mine with the webs I'm weaving I could take this crap from seeing to believe